Women told their stories of how they recognized their husband's infidelity. Listen carefully and learn life lessons. Emily's story is mistress came up to me at a mutual friend's wedding and confessed everything. I held on as hard as I could not spoil the holiday, and after the end of the banquet gave free will to feelings and gave him a real beating. After this betrayal, we divorced. The children stayed with me. Susan's story when we were flying out on vacation, he suddenly remembered something about the details of the upcoming vacation and decided to show it to me. So he opens messages on his smartphone and there we both see a nice correspondence with our mutual acquaintance to whom he writes how he does not want to go on vacation with me and how he will miss her. Meanwhile, the plane was already gaining altitude, so it was the most fun 11 hours of my life. On vacation, I got back at him. You can guess how. Barbara's story, I just came home early from work one day. Yeah, it sounds like the plot of a stupid movie, but it really happened. The funny thing is that we had once discussed an open relationship, but he flatly refused to have one. And what do I see now? Came home after a 12-hour shift at work and found the toilet lid still down. Either my husband hadn't pissed for 12 hours or there was another woman here. I suspected him of having an affair with a co-worker, but he always said they were just friends. I also knew she was selling the apartment, so I anonymously arranged with her realtor to view it. After thoroughly exploring the apartment, I found his t-shirt in the closet, and on the bedroom nightstand was a picture of them together. Bingo! We divorced and he married this girl. Of course, he later cheated on her, and they divorced too. Cindy's story, he had a corporate event at work that we were supposed to go to together, but his mom, who had promised to babysit our son, broke her leg. We live far enough away, so I thought my husband would finish early so he could get home before midnight. However, he called and said he was too tired, had a lot to drink and didn't want to leave the car here to take a cab, so would stay the night at a hotel across the street from work. I woke up around 4 a.m. feeling like something was wrong. Launching the app, find my phone, on my smartphone to see where he was, I discovered that he was actually at a neighbor's house at his co-worker's house who had been flirting with him the whole time. I made a scene, but forgave him for my son's sake. We still live together, and I have him under complete control. Jessica's story my friend moved into another room and invited me to dinner to celebrate. During dinner with her roommate, I started telling her about my relationship with her boyfriend, who incidentally had a very rare name. Her roommate asked in surprise, if he was the guy who lived down the street from me and was in medical school. I said he was, and she said she'd been sleeping with him since spring. To make sure we were talking about the same person, we took turns calling him on speakerphone. Yes, there was no more doubt. He was in a relationship with the two of us. Upon learning the truth, we deleted his phone at the same time. Julia's story I discovered this through social media a few months after we broke up. I was still friends with his parents, siblings, and they were tagged in his new photos with his newborn son. And he was born much sooner than nine months after we broke up. Brenda's story my boyfriend had a smartphone and a laptop, so could read messages received on his phone using the laptop. While he was at work, I was using his laptop to do homework for college. He received a text message from his ex, who he communicated with periodically, but I knew she was already married and wasn't worried. However, the message that popped up in the corner of the screen said, just a reminder that I love you. I couldn't stand it and opened the correspondence. He texted her before bed and even early in the morning when he left for work, kissing me. When he came home from work, I was no longer home. I left and blocked my phone. 